Hi guys and welcome to Airability. Hi guys, welcome to my second video. Today I'm going to talk about what's on my bench, why it's on my bench and how I use it. And hopefully there'll be something you might be able to use yourself and take away from this video. It might not work for everybody but it works for me and it's been quite a journey for me to get to this point where I've got equipment that I'm comfortable with. So here goes. So here is a standard side approach bent rest table with the indent here. So what I do is I just park here and I'm ready to go. So can you remember on, on our group, I've been showing people how I've been building my front rig. So I've used an aluminium pull ball triangle. I've used a, a jack here and a piece of perspex to make a flat NRSA regulation base. Um, as you can see, it has bolts at each corner to get to, so it can be perfectly leveled. And it has vertical adjustment with this side knob here. Um, because of my height and because I'm small, um, commercially available rigs were no good to me, so I had to build my own, and this one goes as low as eight centimeters, when usually um, similar rigs started about 14, 15, or even 20 centimeters in height, so they're no good. Um, as with the NRSA rules, here you go, you'll have to cover your flat base with a thin cloth chamois leather or something similar to stop um, your equipment getting scratched. So that's the rig. Um, I'll put some photos up at the end of the video and hopefully um, you know people can see how it works. So what else have I got on my bench? Obviously I need to get to the to the range so here is my box that I put all my, my goodies in to get here and I have um, two tins. One obviously is my my pellet and then the other is um, it has a foam insert with with um, which I spray with pellet loop and what I do is I size my pellets onto the foam give them a roll around and then I use them um, I find to get really consistent results that way. Um, it's not for everybody, it's a bit of a mess around, but when you're searching for that extra half a millimetre, you know, you tend to try these things. So this is how I'm set up at the front. So at the back, what I have is, is my back bag is quite small. Normally you get these big rabbit eared bags that are about this high, and as you can see, that's just no good for me. Whatsoever. So what I'm using is a what's essentially a front bag and I turn it sideways and place the butt here. So I'm comfy and ready to shoot. So really that is what I use on a daily basis. But the other stuff I have in here and essentials are I've got my Bluetooth speaker for my blues um, and I've got my cool my cup of coffee. I'll have to go and get a cup of coffee. I can't last without a cup of coffee. But I would normally have a cup of coffee here. And um, extra pellets um, and wipes. So that's basically what I have in my shed um, to, to facilitate the shooting on a daily basis. Here's a couple of photos of the rest close up in action. And here's one of it standing on its own. Hopefully, it shows things a bit better. Hi guys, um, I'm back. I'm now joined by my Tangerine Dream. And hopefully, for the next couple of minutes, I'll take you through um, how I've set it up, and the choices I've made, um, what add-ons, tuning, and things like that I've had done. And um, again, hopefully some of this video is of use to somebody. So we'll go front to back, yep. So here, um, as I'm a garden plinker, um, moderation, sound moderation is essential. Now, I think people 
think a lot that um, any moderator is as good as any other as long as it reduces noise level. Well, that's not right. Um, they also do affect accuracy. And I have about 10 moderators, which I try on all my equipment to make sure I get the right one for the right rifle. So it is essential that you pick the right moderator. This is a Swifty Stumpy. And as you can see, it's not so stumpy because um, I have taken two of them, removed the centre pieces and made it into a Swifty not so, so not so stumpy as you can see there right so there we go then moving backwards i have um the original cylinder has a quick fill um probe fitted here um takes a quick fill probe rather than having to remove the cylinder every time you charge it um here is a brand new custom barrel um fitted by ratworks and on top of that barrel is a purely cosmetic carbon shroud to enhance my tangerine dream. So moving back here, this is a 10 by 50 magnification scope by Cytron. It's absolutely fantastic. The glass is beautifully clear and a very thin reticle for bench rest. It's perfect. Um, moving down, this wonderful stock here is custom made to me um, it actually um, helps me with my biggest disability and that's being left-handed so it's a left-handed stock it's made by uh, Tommy Bennett at Timmy Gunstocks the man is a legend he's very generous with his time and he put an awful lot of work into this stock which I greatly appreciate it fits me perfect and there are a few things that are worth mentioning about this stock it is a bench rest stock and it has a flat bottom here to allow it to sit on the rest. And as we move back here, it has an adjustable cheek rest, which a lot of bench rest users don't use, but I need to because I don't have much strength in my neck. And right at the end, we have an aluminium butt plate, which um, keeps everything in line. And it means I can actually stand it up when I'm putting it away as well. So that's fantastic. It's made out of a beautiful dark grey, grey and tangerine laminate and it is just a really nice hand oil piece of work and as you can see it's been oiled beautifully and everything looks a bit better with a little oil on it doesn't it? So, oh, I've got my coffee, brilliant. So, we've done the scope, the stock the cylinder, the action. This is an Anschultz 9015 HP um, sub 12. It's been fully tuned by Ratworks with a tension regulator. Um, it has a maximum spread of about five feet per second, total deviance that is. And it's capable of constantly hitting two millimeter dots at 25 meters. Um, so really, that is that is about the upshot of of my rifle here and um i tell you what should we give it a go yeah why not join me in part two to watch me shoot the tangerine dream